know how the hustle and bustle of our busy lives can make it difficult to shut our brains off at night. But before you accept defeat and just pull another all-nighter, why not try some acupressure to help you sleep? Mary Wong is here to show you some simple acupressure massage points that will have you snoring in no time. I can't wait to try them. Hi, Mary. Can you tell us a little more about acupressure and how it's used to treat issues with sleep? Absolutely. So when we talk about acupressure, we also need to talk about acupuncture, and both of which are part of traditional Chinese medicine, and it's been around for thousands of years. And acupuncture, which is the insertion of disposable hair-thin needles, helps to reestablish this harmonious flow of energy that is within all of us. And this flow of energy is called life force energy or chi. So when we use the acupuncture, it helps to stimulate the energy, the blood flow, it can stimulate relaxation response, and we know it releases endorphins, which is that feel-good hormone, as it helps to reduce anxiety, it treats pain, stress, infertility, and other hormonal issues, all which can impact our sleep. And because you can't do acupuncture at home, I'm here to help you use your tools, your fingers, to do the work. It's a recent study, actually, about nearly 90% of the participants actually resolved their insomnia, so super cool. Ooh, I love that. That's a good percentage. So you have some acupressure massage points to show us that we can do at home. The first one is called Yin Tang, which is translated as Hall of Impression. It is literally between the bridge of your nose, between the eyebrows. You can look at it as your third eye point, and you can stimulate it by two ways. So I'm using my index fingers, and I'm doing what I call my windshield viper technique. So you literally trace your eyebrows repeatedly, and you might want to breathe and check in on your shoulders so that they're actually relaxed and not up to your ears. And then the other way to do it is actually if you're lying in bed, you can place your knuckle right on that point. So like, you know, if I'm sleeping on my side and then you can let it rest here or use circular motions. And one of my patients likes to call it, it's like pushing the relax button. So I love this point. And not only that, it doubles as what I call the Acutox point. So who needs Botox when you can do this, right? <laughs> so the second point, yeah, cool, right? And so the second point is called On Yen, which is translated as peaceful sleep. And it's located in the back of your head. And so what you would want to do is trace your... Um, index fingers, slide it down just below your earlobes, and then walk it back about a half an inch to an inch. And this is where the skull meets the neck. And you know, I like to place my thumbs here, both sides at the same time. And when you do this, it really helps to soothe that busy mind. And of course, you want to, again, relax those shoulders as you do, do this and breathe. You might want to close your eyes and firmly press into this pre depression gently. And as you rub, you might notice over, you know, a couple of minutes or five minutes, you'll begin to feel that tension drift away because who doesn't have tension in this spot? And then lastly, I want to show you Mei Guan, which is uh, called Inner Gate, and it is located on your wrist. So I've actually conveniently drawn a uh, marker on here. I don't know if you guys can see oh, this, yeah, but I can see it. Tara certainly showed this, right? So, yeah. and how you find it is it's three finger breaths below your wrist crease. Okay. And it's right along the middle. And in that middle, you have actually also two tendons. So it's between the two tendons. And again, you would want to like just press into it. And then of course, when you're sleeping, you're not holding it up in the air like we're doing right now. So you're just lying relaxed and you like press into it and you do circular motions. And this one, we also know it to help relax the chest. So think about oxygenating your lungs. And of course, that's important to provide that restful sleep. And so the three points are really awesome. And you can even do it during the day when you're feeling a little stressed, so not just for sleep time. And what we know at that it can help with better sleep, deeper sleep and more restful sleep. I feel like I'm already kind of like drifting off here and I'm under studio lights. Like this feels <laughs> good. So do you have any tips for remembering the point so we can remember this tonight and incorporating this massage into your nightly routine? 
Yeah, that's a really great question because, of course, you don't want to forget. And the way to not forget is actually by practice. And how we practice is by tacking it to a habit that you already have. Something like brush your teeth. I hope you brush your teeth every night. Oh, yeah. It's like do it after you brush your teeth, maybe when you first lie down, and then you can go through. You just remember that there are three points. And how can you forget acute talks? Because it's not just going to provide restful sleep, it'll make you look better. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, you know, the, the on mian, which is peaceful sleep, you're going to remember that because it's a point that you can get tension. And the last one, again, does require a little bit more. And so if you draw that little point on here and just remember to do it, and again, through repetition, you'll remember because consistency over time is what can make the difference in allowing this peaceful, restful sleep. For folks who cannot administer self-massage, um, are there any alternatives for them? So I utilize this, and it's hard to see right now, so I'm putting it up. Yeah, we it's got a it. little patch, and the patch, what it does is when you place it on an acupuncture point, which is exactly what I did here, it reflects back the specific wavelength of light that your body emits. And so it can be utilized for yourself, but also if you have children it's really easy In, even infants it's known to be placed on the crib or underneath the a pillow or i actually had done it and put it on my on my daughter's teddy bear so that she you know is hu hugging it and it helps to reflect back that wavelength of light to induce that relaxation response so super easy oh i love that really interesting stuff